Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about some probable long type questions and answers of ecosystem and applied ecology. These are the contents of this topic. What is an ecosystem? Ecosystem is the structural and functional unit of ecology where living organisms interact with each other and the surrounding environment. In other words, an ecosystem is a series of interactions between organisms and their environment. The term ecosystem was first coined in 1935 by A. G. Tansley, an English botanist. Types of ecosystem An ecosystem can be as small as an oasis in a desert or as large as an ocean spread over thousands of miles. There are two types of ecosystem, terrestrial ecosystem, aquatic ecosystems, terrestrial ecosystem. Terrestrial ecosystems are specifically land-based ecosystems. There are different types of terrestrial ecosystem distributed around different geological regions, which are as follows. Forest ecosystem, grassland ecosystem, tundra ecosystem, desert ecosystem. Forest ecosystem. Forest ecosystem consists of many plants, animals and microorganisms that live in coordination with the abiotic factors of the environment. Forest helps maintain the earth's temperature and our measure carbon sinks. Grassland ecosystem. In a grassland ecosystem, the vegetarian is dominated by grasses and herbs. Temperate Grasslands, savanna grasslands are some examples of grassland ecosystems. Tundra ecosystems. Tundra ecosystems are devoid of trees and are found in cold climates or where rainfall is less. They are covered with snow for most of the year. The ecosystem in the Arctic or mountain peak is of tundra type. Desert ecosystem. Deserts are found all over the world. These are areas with little rainfall. The days are hot and nights cold. Aquatic ecosystem. These are ecosystems present in a body of water. These can be further divided into two types namely freshwater ecosystem, marine ecosystem. Freshwater ecosystem. This is an aquatic ecosystem consisting of lakes, ponds, rivers, streams and Wetlands. Unlike marine ecosystem, they have no salt content. Marine ecosystem. This ecosystem includes seas and oceans. These have a higher substantial salt content and greater biodiversity than freshwater ecosystems. Biotic components. Abiotic components. The biotic and abiotic components are interrelated in an ecosystem. It is an open system where energy and components can flow across boundaries. Biotic components. Biotic components refers to all life in an ecosystem. On the basis of nutrition, biological components can be classified into autotrophs, heterotrophs and saprotrophs or decomposers. Producers include an autotroph such as plants. They are called autotrophs because they can produce food through the process of photosynthesis. As a result, all organisms higher up in the food chain are dependent on producers for food. Consumers or heterotrophs are organisms that depend on other organisms for food. Consumers are further classified into primary consumers, secondary consumers and tertiary consumers. Primary consumers are always herbivores in that they depend on producers for food. Secondary consumers depend on primary consumers for energy. They can be either carnivores or omnivores. Tertiary consumers are organisms that depend on secondary consumers for food. Tertiary consumers can also be omnivores. Quaternary consumers are present in some food chains. These organisms hunt tertiary consumers for energy. Furthermore, they, they are usually at the top of the food chain as they have no natural predators. 
decomposers include fungi and bacteria such as saprophytes. They thrive directly on dead and decaying organic matter. Decomposers are essential for ecosystem as they help in the recycling of nutrients to be reused by plants. Abiotic components Abiotic components are non-living components of an ecosystem. It includes air, water, soil, minerals, sunlight, temperature, nutrients, wind, altitude, turbidity, etc. Function of an ecosystem The function of an ecosystem are as follows. It controls essential ecological processes, support life systems and provides stability. It is also responsible for the cycling of nutrients between biotic and abiotic components. It maintains the balance between the different trophic levels in the ecosystem. Furthermore, it cycles minerals through the biosphere. Abiotic components help in the synthesis of organic components which involves the exchange of energy. So this is the diagram that represents the types of ecosystem. Ecosystem are basically two types of biotic factor and biotic factors. Then under biotic factors, producers, consumers, decomposers are present. Under consumers, primary herbivores, secondary primary carnivores, tertiary secondary carnivores are present.